Welcome! Today I'll be showing you how to work the arcade stitch with uh, bubbles and this uh, beautiful stitch that can be made either in rows or in runs. This is an example of a sample made in rows and this was made in runs. There is this other bag that I made with this stitch. I've also used this in runs. Uh, you can make this beautiful stitch combination by using contrast or complementary colors I actually have to try making the bubbles in the same color as I've made the hackets I think it will really be a beautiful stitch so let's get into the tutorial for this tutorial I'll be using leftover yarn from this sample these are uh, double knit uh, DK number two Number three, wet yarn for this tutorial. Uh, I've tried four ply yarn for a saw, a triangular saw for this uh, with this stitch, and I really love it. So I think you can use any weight of yarn depending on the project you're making. If for the half and half phoenix sweater, like the one which might have brought some of you to this tutorial. I'll suggest you use a lighter weight of DK yarn, that's size 3, so that it won't be too big or puffy. But it's left to you, whatever yarn you use. So this will be her A and this will be her B. I'll be using a 4mm crochet hook today and let's start. Okay, so with A, I'm going to chain uh, in multiple of 9 plus 1 when you're working in rows. We're working this example in rows. I'll be chaining 46. So let's do that. So I have 46 uh, chains made in A, my main color. I'll go ahead and start row 1. I'll be working uh, double, half double crochet. In the third chain from hook so this is this will be her third chain from hook yarn over insert hook into the third chain you yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through the three loops on the hook so this is what will continue throughout the remaining chain our chain uh working half double crochet in each of the chains when i'm done I'll be back to show you what the next round looks like. Okay, so I have 45 half double crochet on um already made 45, so that's the completion of our first row. And throughout this pattern, the beginning chain is not counted as a stage. When it does, it will be noted. So we'll go to row two. Still with our hair, and we chain one turn. This does not count as a chain here and throughout. Wherever you have chain one, is not counted as a chain. So I'll go, I'll work in a single crochet, single crochet in the first stitch, chain one, skip the first, the next stitch, work in a single crochet into the next stitch. We chain five. We skip four stitches one, two, three, four. And we'll work in a single crochet into the next stitch. We chain three. We skip three. We'll work in a single crochet into the next stitch. We chain five. Skip four stitches, single crochet into the next stitch, chain three, skip three stitches, single crochet into the next. So you repeat this sequence until you have six stitches left. Chain three, skip three, 
single crochet into the next stitch chain 5 skip 5, uh, skip 4 stitches single crochet into the next stitch chain 3 so now we walk into the last 6 stitches that remains single crochet into the next stitch you have 5 more stitches to go you chain 5 skip 4 stitches single crochet into the next stitch chain 1 skip one, uh, next stitch and single crochet into the last stitch so that is how row 2 is being worked uh, the written tutorial for this swatch it can be seen using the uh, description below okay so um, row 3 we chain one and turn. We're going to walk in a single crochet into the first stitch. Then we'll walk in eleven double crochets into this chain five spaces throughout the pattern. So eleven of those. This part of the pattern works up pretty quickly. Yeah, so we're done with we have eleven double crochets there. What we're doing next is to skip this stitch, the next stitch. And work in a single crochet and chain three space. So we basically have single crochet, chain five, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain five. So we've worked eleven double crochets into our first chain five space, single crochet into the next chain three space, eleven double crochets into the next chain five space. This is what will repeat throughout the row. So whatever number you made at the beginning of row 1, you just go ahead now to work in 11 double crochets into the chain 5 space and single crochet into the next stitch. So, okay, so. I'm presently now at the last chain 5 space for the sample that I'm making and I'm working in my 11 double crochets into the last chain 5 space. So I've called the 11 double crochets a shell in this pattern. So hence what you hear me saying shell when I say that I'm referring to the uh, chain space uh, five eleven double crochet that I've worked into the chain five spaces. Yeah, so I have eleven there. To end this row, we're going to skip this next stitch and the chain one space that we had at the beginning and work in a single crochet in the last stitch. That's the end of this beautiful row, and that forms the basis of our uh, arcade stitch yeah so we go to row four now and we're going to chain six this counts as a double crochet and chain three so we're going to skip the first uh, uh since it counts as a double crochet we're not counting this stitch we're skipping the next three stitches And we're working a single crochet into the next stitch. We chain three, skip next three stitches, single crochet into the next stitch, chain five, skip next seven stitches, single crochet into the next stitch, 
skip next three, chain three. Chain five, skip five. Sorry for that, chain five, skip seven. Chain three, skip three. So we do, we'll continue the sequence of chain three, chain five, skip three, skip seven till the end of this row. And I'll be back to show you. Okay, so this is how it looks at the end of the row. Uh, I have a chain three, skip three, single crochet in the next stitch. I'll skip the remaining stitches. Chain three. Double crochet in the last stitch. So, this is the close up of the stitch. This is how the right side looks. Let me focus it. This is our right side and it's growing beautifully. This is the end of this row. I will continue with the next round. Next row. Okay, so we'll need our stitch marker to secure. A uh, color here why you pick the next color good so this is done in order not to lose our stitches now to row five I'll be picking my second color which is the contrasting color and I'm calling it B so we join B to the same stitch has where we fin ended row four. So we turn your work, join B with a slip stitch. Okay, let me do that again. This is where we made our last double crochet. So into that same stitch, you join B. With a slip stitch yeah so chain one to secure this stitch and reinforce it single crochet into that same stitch again and then we chain four and we'll be working into this stitch because this is our right side to know the right side this motor part this is the wrong side can you see that right side so you pull the chain space in on this row backward and since we sk we skip three stitches to make it easier for you the middle stitch is where you will be working into so to make the bubbles we we'll yarn round a hook twice Insert hook into the middle stitch. You will notice I've pulled back uh, the chain three space. Pull through the first two loops, yarn round hook, and pull through. Leave those two. Yarn over hook twice into that same stitch, and then you work the next treble. This is a bubble stitch and for this tutorial we'll be making seven treble together. This makes it bigger if you're using the heavier weight of double knits. You might choose to make five treble together instead of seven. You can even choose to do five double crochets together instead of treble and you yarn round your hook and pull through so when you pull it makes it into a bubble you can secure it with a chain one and then the first bubble is made I want you to take note of this part can you see the chain three behind the bubble 
So throughout this row, our chain three will be behind the bubble. We're working on the right side and the chain three is behind the bubble. So we'll go ahead now to chain nine. Okay, chain nine. You're skipping 11 stitches from the next stitch after our bubble towards this. So if we can't, we are going to have 11 stitches. We can count together. Eleven. So we are walking into the 12th stitch. This. But to make it easier on you, you know the 11th, the 12th stitch, that's the stitch following the 11th, will always be. So, I have 11, uh, into the 12th stitch, after skipping 11, I have a bubble, secure it, gently pull through, and tighten the last uh, stitch on your that you've put through to make it puff secure with a knot and then chain nine yarn round hook twice skip the next 11 stitches notice that I'm skipping the stitches on uh, row 3 and we work our bubble in here we skip work our bubble in here and continue the sequence till the end of this row. So, I'm currently at the last bubble. I'll put you secure with a chain one. Yeah, and then I'll chain four, which is the last of the row. We'll skip the remaining uh, stitches, the next five stitches, and we'll work in a single crochet. In the last stitch just like we did at the beginning it's a replica of what we had here at the beginning so I have a single crochet in last stitch and this is uh, the end of row 5 so I'm proceeding I'll remove this stitch marker if you have uh, if you're using more than one stitch marker you can put it but I prefer using that same one helps me to know what row is next when I leave the project and come back to it so without turning our work this way we ended and I've secured B with a stitch marker I'll pick up A and I'll chain 3 this is row 6 I'll chain 3 Okay, I'll work in uh, over both uh, chain spaces at the beginning of the row from row 4 and row 5. I'll work in five, 4 double crochet over that. Let me show you the wrong side of our uh, the completed project you see that there are no there are no chain spaces at all so each time you walk in the shell rows you walk over both the chain spaces can you see this so it secures those and makes for a beautiful pattern a beautiful texture the right side and the wrong side so I'll work in four double crochet now over both uh, the chain spaces from the previous two rows remember the chain three space so oh, I have a knot okay I'll crochet over it Remember our chain three spaces? This is how it looks like at the back. Chain three spaces. So now we'll be working in a single crochet into this chain space. 
see that four double crochet single crochet and that secures the chain three space we'll go ahead now to work in our shell over both chain spaces can you see that working over both chain spaces those are the chain from row four and row five by the time you done having your 11 double crochet the chain spaces will be minimal and there won't be any it won't be obvious on the on either side so let's count how many stitches do we have yeah the next thing now it's chain three space you walk in a single crochet into that 11 double crochet over both chain spaces don't get carried away and walk into only one of the chain spaces so walk into the two together You repeat the sequence till the end of the row. I'll just do it while you watch. I told you you can get the free pattern to this swatch using the description, the link in the description below. I've also linked to the sweater pattern and the bag that I've made with this stitch. If you have a suggestion of more things you want me to make in this beautiful stitch, I've made a triangular shawl. Once it's available, I'll also update the description for you to see the pattern to the show. If you have any other thing that you want me to design with this stitch, kindly drop the suggestion in the comments section. Or we over by one so don't forget chain one then the chain three space you walk in a single crochet then 11 double crochet in the next chain spaces over both chain spaces this is what we'll do in row six till the end of the row until we get to the last chain 3 space yeah it looks like I know when I have 11 double crochet great so this is what we have at the end of the row we are going to walk in 7 double crochet into this So that secures the side. We had four at the beginning and we're ending with seven. We need one more. Awesome. This is the end of row seven and it's taking shape. Can you see how beautiful the stitch looks? This is how it looks on the wrong side. Great. We go ahead to row 7 now and we'll continue with A the B is still there with our stitch marker home so we chain 3 and we skip uh, the first 3 stitches and we work in a double crochet uh, sorry a single crochet in the next stitch we chain we chain five one two three four sorry one two three 
one two three four five six seven skip seven and walk in a single crochet into the next stitch chain three skip three single crochet chain five skip seven single crochet chain three skip three and single crochet so you have your chain three skip three at the peak of each of the shell this is what it looks like we're working from the wrong side now so can you guess what we'll be doing next yeah we just finished chain three skip three single crochet we'll be chaining five skip seven single crochet skip seven single crochet chain three skip three single crochet chain five skip seven single crochet chain three skip three single crochet so we repeat this sequence till the last eight stitches sorry one two okay so we skip the last seven stitches and we'll single crochet in the last stitch so this is what it looks like I'm turning to the right side for you to see what we've done. So the essence of uh, the repeat, let me bring it closer, is such that each bubble will be worked in a chain three space, the middle stitch, and we have a staggered look. Can you see this? The diagonal look. Bubble, 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 bubble each in the middle stitch from the skipped three stitches okay so now this is the end of row six sorry the end of row seven and after each of the chain spaces you secure your a with your stitch marker so you release this be careful not to unravel your yarn secure with stitch marker you're not turning after this round you only pick up your B and you walk towards A so row 8 is with B and we're going to chain 4 or oh, chain 4 good yeah the aim is to have a bubble A so you have the chain three spaces towards you now and you walk in single crochet into the first stitch this stitch in row six so this is row six this is row six and this is row seven by the time you do a few rows you get the hang of it and you don't really need to get confused about which row you're working in the shelf's row is our row six and the chain row is the row nine uh, row seven so single crochet into the first stitch the chain four that we made was just to take care of the height difference good so you pull the chain three towards yourself and you We've done single crochet. We're going to walk in a bubble into we'll skip the next stitch, skip this next stitch and walk in a bubble in A. 
Is that confusing? Pull bubbles, the chain three to yourself, skip next stitch and work in a bubble into this. Remember, a bubble is seven treble together. And as I stated, if yours is too bulky, you can make it five or you even make it with double crochet instead of treble. I've added uh, the link to the written pattern if you find the video confusing do check out the uh, written tutorial you can skip subtitle yeah so you have our bubbles on the right side I mentioned that and the chain three on the wrong side next thing to do now is to chain 9 and skip 11 skip 11 stitches the 11th stitch falls into this so we can count let me move it closer while you count 11 stitches skip 11 stitches a bubble into the next stitch so don't get carried away and make your bubble like this. If you do, when you work in the next row, you find it difficult to work in a single crochet into the chain space. So make sure to pull the chain three space towards you and work in your bubble stitch. Okay, sorry, I've tangled that. Good. A bubble stitch. Good. Yeah, skip 11, working a bubble here into the next stitch. This is the 11th stitch, and you're working a bubble into the next. Do that, skip, work a bubble, and work a bubble. And make sure that you have all your chain spaces pulled towards yourself with the bubble on the other side, which is the right side. So I'll continue. And once I'm at the last end of the row, I'll be back to show you how it looks. Great. I'm at the end of the row. And this is what it looks like. Remember we had uh, four double crochet at the other side. I'm referring to row six. Yeah. Great. So after you chain nine at the end and you walk in a double crochet into the last stitch. And when we refer to the last stitch throughout its uh, last stitch on two rows below. So now this is what it looks like. Can you see the chains on the two rows? Can you see that they are not on the same level? So you pull both together to work in your shell. I remember to work in single crochet into this. Great. We only work with B, a contrasting color, for a row. So now that we have our yarn both on the same side, we know it's time for us to turn. And you can release this. Use the stitch marker to secure this other row. Great. And then pick up A. 
great you might think that uh, how do you deal with the ends depending on what you're making you can work in a single crochet or half double crochet by the sides on the edges it takes care of those side so yeah we'll go to the next row row 9 and we'll work with a so as you might have guessed whenever you have two chain spaces you work double crochet over each so now with a you I'm gonna focus that I'm sorry yeah I'm back chain three and work in 11 double crochet over both chain spaces from the two rows below we're working presently on row 9 and that means we're working over chain space from row 8 and row 7 so work in 11 double crochets I'm not sure why it's not focusing yeah 11 double crochet into those spaces together can you see I'm working over both stitches Yeah, I have one more stitch. Great, 11 double crochets. Work in a single crochet into the next stitch. See that? Into the next uh, chain 3 space. Work 11 double crochets over both chain spaces. And then I'll repeat that sequence to the end of this row. Right. So I done and we have 11 double crochets at the end of uh, the row. Or, or the row. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Let me know if you like it. Let me know what you're going to make with this stitch. And if you have any stitch you want me to explain or any pattern you want me to make with this let me know and i'll do my best to make them thank you